Okay, I want to show you how to identify ground beans. Um, you can see the their little um, piles of dirt they have all over the place. Um, basically, these beans are harmless. They're not. They're very docile. Let me give you a close up on one of their holes. But, here you go, that's one of their holes they make. And uh, these hang on the holes. Now these bees come back every year in springtime, but they're very docile. If you really want to get rid of them, uh, just soak the ground on real good every week, or mulch it real heavy. But I mean, really, you should let them go. Uh, they disappear after a month or so. And uh, they're practically harmless. But there are a lot of them here, and uh, I guess some of them walking down the street they could be scary. And this is a good example of some grabbies. Uh, if you're wondering what they look like, or you have them. The main thing is all their little palms and dirt they make. But as it goes on, there's less and less of them. So that's a good example of Robbie's and what to do with them. They're beneficial, so, you know, hopefully you'll just let them go. Otherwise, uh, either lots of water or lots of mulch. But it's a good example of some ground bees. You know, these little ant hills. I've seen these bees for about four or five years here. When they do the same thing all day, just fly around the ground. Um, when it rains, and you want to work on your hill and your lot of bees, then you can go inside when it rains. Or, you know, go wait until late at night and go inside if you need to dig a hole or do something else. But this is a very good example.